Hello, Elizabeth Stinson, cul-de-sac woman. Well, we survived our back to school week and at the moment I'm in between school buses. My middle schoolers have arrived and we're here at our lovely local farmer's market to gather ingredients for my favorite sandwich, apple bacon Dijon milk. Then we need to scoop back up the hill to catch the elementary school bus in the cul-de-sac. So we need to move quickly. Okay, now that all kids are safely home and accounted for, we can whip up my favorite sandwich, apple bacon Dijon melts. First, we need to cook our bacon. And the bacon is the main reason I wanted to get our ingredients from our farmer's market today. We don't consume bacon very often, so when we do, I make it count by finding the very best. And this is the best bacon I have ever had. It is a thicker slice, and it's very meaty and not fatty at all. And it is labeled uncured, which means no synthetic preservatives. What I do is I bake it in a 350 degree oven on foil lined baking sheets that I did previously spray with cooking spray. And I cut the bacon in half so that when it's cooked, I end up with just the right size pieces for my sandwiches. We are gonna check the bacon after 10 minutes. And while the bacon is cooking, We'll set up our, the rest of our sandwich station on the counter. So we'll be right back. Okay, the bacon is done and our sandwich station is set up and ready to go. I did cook the bacon in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven on the foil lined baking sheet that I lightly sprayed with cooking spray for 10 minutes. Then I took the pans out of the oven and I rotated the pans and I flipped each piece of bacon over back in the oven for an additional five minutes and then that did crisp up the bacon nicely for us. We also have from our farmers market half inch sliced honey crisp apples. That's what was available today and I thought they would be nice in this sandwich and also a grass-fed cheddar cheese. They didn't have gouda so I purchased the cheddar. And grass-fed, as opposed to grain-fed, mainly corn, which will produce a higher fat calorie product and is also more likely to contain antibiotics and steroids. So people are beginning to look for grass-fed on their labels now. And we have lightly toasted whole wheat English muffins. Six English muffins, half because this is going to make 12 open-faced sandwiches. And last, for my sandwich spread, I have about a half of a small 8-ounce jar of honey Dijon mustard in this bowl, along with about two tablespoons of mayonnaise. And if you'd like, you can put a few dashes of dill in with it and just stir that together well. Or if you're pressed for time, you can just use honey Dijon straight from the jar I prefer my sandwich mustards a little on the creamy side. Now we are all set to assemble these delicious creations. First, you take your lightly toasted whole wheat English muffin half and spread your honey Dijon mixture on it. You want to try to cover the entire English muffin half with the ingredients about two pieces of bacon, again enough to cover the English muffin half, two slices of your apple to form a circle, and last top with your cheese. And then back to your sheet pan. Okay, I have an eager volunteer here. We will assembly line the rest and we'll be right back to show you how to turn them into melts. Okay, our sandwiches are all assembled and now we are going to turn them into the melts by simply melting the cheese. But first, if I didn't mention it, the apples are unpeeled. You do not need to peel the apples for this sandwich. It's just a delicious, home, rustic sandwich. You can melt your cheese one of two ways. You can either melt it under your broiler or you can just pop your sandwich is back in the same 350 degree oven that you cooked your bacon in. I'm going to melt my cheese under the broiler in the hopes that the cheese will kind of puff up and brown for me. Either way, turn your oven light on, 
and keep an eye on it. Don't turn away and take them out when the cheese is melted. Here they are. Apple bacon Dijon melts. Warm, crispy, melty. I enjoy serving these to friends around my kitchen table for a relaxed, quiet afternoon lunch or to my family for a late afternoon, early evening meal. Either way, they're warm, delicious, and comforting. Let's taste. Mm. Apple bacon cheese, a simple, perfect combination. And you know what? Before sharing them with everyone else, I think I'm gonna pull up a chair and I'm going to sit here and eat one alone in quiet solitude first. See you next time in the cul-de-sac, everyone.